In 2024, it's a couple skills that you're going to need to get the most amount of money possible quickly. Without further delay, let's get into the first one. So the first one is going to be anything, and I do mean anything dealing with cybersecurity. So anything dealing with cybersecurity is going to lead to uh, a handsome paycheck, right? So cybersecurity is absolutely booming. It's super important. And this is the reason why so many people are leaning toward getting into cybersecurity. So according to Cybersecurity Ventures Inc, by 2025, it's gonna cost $6 trillion a year or annually as far as cybercrime goes. So what does that mean? If it's $6 trillion, right? That's what it's gonna cost people. That means employers, people, users are gonna be willing to employ people, right? Because cybersecurity is super important, especially with how interconnected we are with our cell phones, with our laptops, with everything being connected to the internet, you have to keep things secure. And the crazy thing is, unemployment is damn near non-existent when it comes to cybersecurity pros because they need people. Whether it's a company with 10 employees or Google with hundreds of thousand employees, that is super important. You gotta be proactive, keep things secure, and you pretty much got to be on top of things because as soon as something drops, as soon as a new app comes out, as soon as uh, somebody leaves the wrong damn laptop open or the wrong files in the garbage, people are starting to hack and get into things. So cybersecurity is one of those uh, opportunities that is uh, recession proof and will allow you to maneuver around uh, how you want to, right? Pretty much allow you to write your own checks, so on and so forth. So now that we know the number one skill, if you don't watch no more of this damn video, is gonna be cybersecurity. Let's talk about a few ways to actually start in cybersecurity. Let me give you some action steps. The first thing is gonna be getting some certifications. That is the quickest way to get into cybersecurity, right? So um, there may be other YouTube channels, other courses, other programs that'll tell you, you gotta do all this extra stuff, you need uh, this, you need that. The easiest way to get into cybersecurity, step one, get security plus. Step two, go get a government job. It steps in front of there, but those are the two biggest steps or in between there, but those are the two biggest ones, right? Number one, get security plus, and I can make that way easier in the description or if you look through the channel, I got hundreds, one, zero, zero, comma, S, a bunch of fucking videos about security plus that can help you uh, get security plus. Now getting a government job, you need a little bit of extra than that, but that's the first step, right? Get a certification, then start doing hands-on stuff, whether it's capture the flag stuff, simulations, but the number one thing, get those certifications and you can get into cybersecurity. Let's get into the next skill. All right, the next skill is gonna be anything to do with networking. So cybersecurity and networking kind of play hand in hand, but this is another skill that can get you to the back, whether you're a network engineer, network analyst, if you're doing server stuff, but networking is super important. And it's another skill set and it's another job that has a lot of opportunities. No matter where you are in the world, whether cybersecurity or networking, you'll be able to find a bunch of opportunities. So according to a bunch of surveys and market research, we're about to reach about $76 billion that's needed to pretty much cover the infrastructure for the global network, right? Because we're all interconnected, whether we're in Indiana or India, which is going to lead to a lot of opportunities for you. And especially even in rural areas or uh, what countries that may be considered third world, a lot of these places are starting to get high speed internet, right? And the places that had uh, medium speed is starting to get fiber optic and super fast, which leads to more opportunities for you to land networking jobs, network analysts, uh, or even if you're actually a field technician, is so many opportunities because the internet isn't going anywhere. It's only expanding. So an action step to actually get into networking, just like the last one, is to get some certifications. So a certification that would be a really good start for you can be CCNA or Network Plus, right? Either one of these are gonna get you a really good foundation to networking and also land you some jobs, right? So for my students, uh, we usually go with Network Plus because that's what we've been seeing success with. If you wanna go with CCNA, you can, but get either one of those because it's gonna validate your skills and open up a lot of those opportunities 
uh, when it comes to jobs and stuff like that. Another thing is just doing simulations, virtual machines, whether it's a packet tracer or like I said, VMware, just setting up networks, see how servers work, see how routers work, see how switches work. So by the time you actually get the job, you'll have experience. Number three is anything with data. So data science in general, right? So data scientists are making a lot of money as well. Why? Because data is like liquid gold. Google wants your data. Facebook wants your data. Uh, YouTube wants your data. Everybody wants your data because they want to see what are people buying? What are people talking about? That way they can market more things to you right so a lot of times this is sold as to make the user experience better which is true i guess but your email your bank everybody wants your information right most of your data and data scientists are uh, making a lot of money and they won't be going anywhere because there's literally you know petabytes and petabytes not terabytes but petabytes and petabytes of information circulating around on the internet networks so on and so forth and Data scientists are the ones that kind of break down that data, see what trends are, see what people are doing and kind of can almost see the future. Like, OK, this is what happened in the 80s. This is what happened in the 90s. This is what happened in the 2000s. This is the cycle that we think we're about to go to. So on and so forth. Right. So data scientists is um, and data science in general is one of those fields that not only is booming, it's going to continue to grow. Now for now the action steps to become a data scientist or to look into data science, I would say uh, to look into machine learning, uh, data analysis, some coding and things like that, and just kind of have a higher picture or a bigger picture view, right? You can't just be tunnel focused or tunnel have tunnel vision. You kind of got to be able to break down data, right? What the hell is this telling me? What does this mean? And then that allow you to uh, improve organizations, improve user experience, so on and so forth, right? So data scientists are pretty much like translators that interpret the data to tell organizations, people, places, okay, this is what needs to happen. This is what this data is doing. This is working. This is not working, so on and so forth. Hey gang, if you've never seen me before, I'm Rob, a former staff sergeant that helps people just like you get into tech in as little as 90 days. Uh, I got uh, over 12 certifications. I've taught over 15,000 students. I got my master's in this stuff and I kind of know what the hell I'm talking about. So if you would be interested in transitioning into tech, click the first link in the description and we'll pretty much break down exactly what our program is, how we can help you and you can apply right after you go through uh, that video breakdown. If that doesn't interest you, you suck, but that's okay. If you don't want to do that, at a minimum, all we require is that you like this video and share it with at least two people that it can benefit. So let's get back into the next two skills. So the next skill is cloud computing, right? Which all these kind of tie into together, right? So if you get all these skills, you're going to be a bad, blah, 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 right? So we talked about cybersecurity. We talked about networking. We talked about data scientists. Right now, we're going to talk about cloud computing, right? So uh, cloud computing is one of those things that is super important and it's just a normal thing right damn near everything is hosted inside the cloud so if you can become a cloud specialist a cloud engineer your job isn't going anywhere right but you have to have a foundation of networking to understand cloud computing and you have to know about data to know about cloud computing and you have to have a really really good security mind to make sure that everything in the cloud is secure so LinkedIn actually listed cybersecurity and cloud computing as two of the most valuable skills, number one and number two for three years straight. So that should give you an idea of why cloud computing is booming, why you should kind of think about uh, being well versed into it and security as well. Just because on this channel, I always promote fuck a degree, basically just because with certifications and just having a more focused uh, approach, you'll have more opportunities, right? I don't want you guys to waste $50,000 in four years just to find out that nobody gives a damn about your degree. So how can we get into uh, cloud engineering? There are a bunch of cloud specific uh, certifications, whether it's AWS, Google search, there's so many different certifications that are focused on cloud and also just hands on experience, getting your hands on uh, these different products and seeing their pros, their cons, their vulnerabilities, that type of stuff. 
Now, if I were you, I would kind of go towards Azure, uh, which is a Microsoft, uh, Microsoft certification as opposed to AWS, as opposed to just right now. Um, now that may change, but as of right now in 2024, I would kind of lean to more towards Azure. At least our students are finding um, a lot more uh, success with Azure as opposed to Amazon. What we've seen, uh, it would be nice if there was like a direct pipeline. You get the Amazon or AWS certification and you get a job at Amazon, but we're just not seeing that for, for students right now. It just seems like Azure just has a more broad appeal for employers, even outside of Microsoft. Last but not least would be AI. I know y'all guys are scared of that and think it's going to take over the world, but it's here and it's been here, right? So believe it or not, your Instagram feed is AI, right? Like we talked earlier about data and data scientists. They use all that data to see the stuff that you like and to feed more of that stuff to you, right? So if you've been looking up old school cars, the AI algorithm is going to say, okay, this guy or this girl likes old school cars. Let's show them some more and some more and some more. Then if you start looking up tech stuff, then it's going to show you my videos, other videos. The YouTube algorithm is AI. Facebook algorithm, TikTok, you kind of get it, right? Even Netflix has an AI algorithm that if you like certain stuff, if you like action movies, your home feed is going to start having way more uh, action movies as recommendations on stuff to watch. So AI is a part of cybersecurity, networking, cloud computing, data, right? So you kind of see how these are five skills. You can, you can definitely niche down and kind of go laser focus. But if you have all five of these, it's too easy, like way too easy for you to land opportunity and you'll have flexibility to kind of do whatever the hell you like. Right? So the AI approach right now, I wouldn't necessarily say there's any certifications that are going to uh, be, be sure that you're going to become um, an AI expert or have AI opportunities. Um, we have students that uh, have A plus, Net plus, Security plus, and they got jobs as automation specialists, or they got jobs as an AI, so on and so forth, right? So there are uh, AI certifications, but I wouldn't say that there's any AI certification that's gonna increase your uh, opportunities of landing a gig, right? I think with AI, it's more about actually getting your hands on the stuff, seeing different uh, machine learning tools, maybe look into quantum computing a little bit, and just get very, very well versed in AI, right? Um, so any training you can get your hands on, uh, we go through uh, some AI um, and our training as well, just to get a foundation and then you can kind of build upon that. So these are five skills that you need in 2024 to get to uh, more money, uh, more freedom, more flexibility. And other than that, I'll see you in class.